Check out this beautiful piece of transportation. It's the newest addition to the streetcar fleet and soon it'll be spinning its wheels here in El Paso. I'll have more on this streetcar in a moment, but first, the city of El Paso is set to create another community rec center. The Capital Improvement Department, along with City Representative Henry Rivera, officially broke ground on the Loma Land Rec Center. Located on Lomita Drive, the facility will have space for sports, games, and outdoor activities. It will include a multi-use deck and renovated soccer field. I'm very happy that we were able to uh, get the agreement with uh, the City Council and we're able to get it here. Uh, it's been a lot of community meetings and we finally broke through. Thank you. The $11 million project is part of the 2012 Quality of Life Bond program. It's one of three community recreation centers that the city has broken ground on this year. Well, aren't you excited to ride the El Paso streetcar? Get it? Orange, because it's orange. It's the newest member of the El Paso streetcar fleet. Car 1515, adorned with orange, green, and white, rolled into town a few days ago. The iconic car is the latest streetcar that has been renovated. The color scheme is probably one of the, uh, the nicest color schemes, I think, in my opinion, because it's from the 1950s. You'll have to wait a few more weeks before you can ride, though. Drivers are testing the route, timing stops, and checking equipment. Well, the streetcar also made an appearance at Chalk the Block. Now, if you couldn't make that festival, no worries. Your City in 5 media specialist, Jose Solis, shows us the sights and sounds of this year's event. What a great festival. Thank you, Jose, for putting together that video. Now, despite the rain on the first day of the event, Chalk the Block drew about 45,000 people. Another event that attracts thousands of people downtown has a new route and a new sponsor. Preparations are underway for the Cher Legate Celebration of Lights Parade that will be part of the Winterfest celebrations. The parade is about a mile and a half long this year. It will run down Mesa Street past Paisano to 4th Street in the Segundo Barrio. The route covers a newly renovated Paseo de las Luces and San Jacinto Plaza. Shirley Gate attorneys at law are sponsoring the parade that's celebrating 20 years. It features more than 50 lighted and decorated floats. The fun starts at 5 p.m. on Sunday, November 18th. Check out the new route for yourself by visiting epwinterfest.com. Dozens of dogs from the Animal Services Center recently took flight in search of their forever homes. Nearly 60 pets from El Paso were flown to cities in Idaho thanks to the teamwork of local and national pet partners. Dog is my co-pilot and Tales from the Shelter are nonprofits that help municipal shelters transport animals to cities in need of great pets. Animal Services says the rescue flight could not have happened at a better time. We were in desperate need. Our shelter is at capacity and anything and everything we could do to find forever homes for the animals in our care, it's just a big relief. Animal Services and their partners look forward to hosting more rescue flights as El Paso continues to work toward its goal of becoming a no-kill city. And you can help by adopting a shelter pet. It was a test of strength at the El Paso International Airport as several organizations battled it out to see who could pull a 90-ton plane. Your City in 5 Media Specialist Nigel Sherman shows us the first-of-its-kind event that helped raise funds for the Special Olympics. First year that we've ever done this, and it is uh, teams of 25, and we had 16 teams out pulling a big FedEx 757, and it was awesome. And we also had uh, some food trucks, we had some kids pulled, and we had a canine um, demonstration. We also had a marine repel demonstration. It was like a mini air show, and uh, everyone had a great time. The weather held up. We we're just really thrilled that it was so successful. Oh! 
All the proceeds that are raised here today stay here in El Paso for our Special Olympic athletes for all the programs that we have here for them. It's not only financial support, which is awesome, but it gives us an opportunity to get in front of people and talk about Special Olympics. There was a lot of athletes out here today, and I hope that people had a chance to talk with them. They love to share their stories, their successes, and it's all about them. The city was so helpful, so was FedEx, so with everyone at the airport, plus all the volunteers, took an army to put it together, and we're so grateful for everyone's support. What a great event. Thank you, Nigel, for putting together that video. That airplane pool raised about $30,000 for the Special Olympics Texas. Big ups to the city's Economic and International Development Department. They received a silver award for regionalism and cross-border collaboration from the International Economic Development Council. The award recognizes cities for innovation, approaches to regionalism, and cross-border cooperation. The city received the award for its strategic efforts to create the world-class medical center of the Americas. We also want to give a shout out to Eddie Garcia, who became the city's first certified economic development director. That's it for this edition of Your City in Five, but hold up, I want to take a selfie. Jonathan, come on, let's take a selfie in front of this streetcar. Ready? One, two, three. Nice. Did you know the city is getting national recognition for its selfies? The national recognition came for taking a selfie at the library. The public library won best library selfie by the Engaging Local Government Leaders Organization. The library took part in National City Hall Selfie Day on August 15th. Staff took a selfie that featured Edgar the puppet in front of the main library. Edgar, by the way, is a mascot in the children's section of the library. That selfie beat out other major cities like Phoenix. City Hall Selfie Day is a chance for cities to feature local government in action. Show us your city pride by taking a selfie in front of any city facility like a park or a rec center. Make sure to use the hashtag I am El Paso. You never know, we may share your photo. For Jonathan Romo, I'm Ricky Saias for Your City in Five.